Hi guys, this is Jamie from System22 and GreatWebDesign.com. Here's a short video just to show you how to roll back Windows 10 to your previous operating system. You may have uh, been uh, encouraged to upgrade to Windows 10. It's trying to get everybody to use it at the moment. Uh, but some people just don't like it. It's a great system, but it may not be for you. If you've recently upgraded within a month or so, there's a very easy process to roll back to your previous operating system. So here we have a computer that's got Windows 10 on it, recently upgraded. And all we need to do is we need to hit the settings button right there in the menu. And that'll take us to a page like this. And down at the bottom there, you see update and security. You want to click on that and that'll take us to this page and we want to get the recovery section here and we want to go back to Windows 8.1 which is the previous operating system that we had here before you do this it's a good idea to back up your files because most of the time this is going to go fine but occasionally something may happen so you want to back up your files just to avoid any disasters that may occur so we're going to go ahead and click on get started because we've got the files backed up there and it takes just a few seconds and it gets things ready and then it asks you a few questions of why you want to go back to your previous operating system so click on whatever you want or fill out the comments uh, however you feel about it and once you've done that you'll hit next and it suggests that perhaps you try and check for updates to fix any problems that, that may be happening with your uh, computer. But we actually want to go back to 8.1, so just click no thanks there at the bottom. And uh, now it'll pop up with a little warning message uh, just telling you it's going to take a while and you won't be able to use your PC until it's done and to leave your PC plugged in and turned on. Uh, after going back, you'll have to reinstall some apps and programs, not very many I've found. Uh, you'll lose any changes made to the settings after the upgrade to Windows 10. Well, yeah, that's true. But that's usually not too much if you've only had it for a short while. <coughs> and there again it says, are oh, your files backed up? Uh, this shouldn't affect them, but it's best to be prepared. Yep, like we said, well, I'll back those files up just in case. So when you hit ready, go ahead and hit the next button down at the bottom there. And it'll give you another caution box, which is fair enough. If you had a password for your old Windows 8.1, you'll need to know it. Else you're going to have a hard time getting back in unless you happen to know how to clear a Windows password. So uh, make sure you know that one before you go ahead. If you're convinced you've got everything uh, ready and everything's working as it should be go ahead and hit the next button and so it tells you thanks for trying Windows 10 and then it says go back to Windows 8.1 so that's what we want to do so once you click that button uh, it'll start this little screen here and that may take some time uh, this particular machine took about 45 minutes to an hour Yours may take less or more time depending on your processor and how many files it's dealing with there. That's no problem. You just let it do its thing. You don't want to interrupt it while it's doing this. And <clears throat> once it's done its thing, it just reboots the computer and it brings back up the operating system. And I'll show you. There it is. There's the same computer. It was just restarted after that roll back and we had now have Windows 8.1 again on it and that was a reasonably painless process like I say if you've just upgraded within a month all those files will still be there if it's been longer than a month uh, you're gonna have to either use your restore partition or uh, reinstall the whole operating system from uh, uh, an install disk which is uh, a bit of a long-winded way of doing it because of course you have to reload all your applications and files so there you have it that's how you roll back to a previous operating system if you decide you do not like Windows 10 within a month um, I hope that's been helpful to you this has been Jamie from system 22 and greatwebdesign.com 
Have a great day and thank you for watching. Goodbye now.